Today is Tuesday. It is January 9, 2024. Our time right now is... Here we go. Our time is 7.57 in the morning. I hope you guys can see that. January 9. And uh, Happy New Year to you guys. I hope uh, you had a wonderful New Year's Eve celebration. Some of you may be at work, some of you may be at home spending it with the family, which is a good thing. So this is actually my second day here in uh, RFM campsite here in DRT Bulacan. This is my first uh, solo motor camping for the year 2024. And uh, I'll see to it that we have one motor camping per month. I hope that doesn't change. And I'm stuck here inside my tent, not literally inside the tent, I'm inside my uh, uh, spot under my tarp. It's raining right now, it's drizzling. I don't know if you can hear it in the background. I'll go ahead and uh, try to shut up for about 10 seconds so you can hear it in the background, All right? Here we go. Alright, so I guess that's about time for you to hear it. But uh, let me show you anyway. Some of you may be visual like me. You can see here uh, my tarp. You can see the droplets of rain. It hasn't leaked inside, just so you know. But outside you can see the droplets. And let me show you this. See that? So we don't want to risk going outside with my uh, cell phone cam getting wet and all that we can't risk that because this is my only device for uh, capturing uh, the videos and such so so far what do I like about this place it's nature it's uh, quiet uh, there's a little challenge going uphill uh, once you uh, come from the main road here the road is paved it is uh, Somewhat, some parts are cemented, some parts are uh, asphalt. It's good. Uh, the road from Bulacan, some of them are still being worked on, which is one of the reasons why I I've been avoiding Bulacan because of the uh, road condition here, uh, or avoiding the north. But instead, I've done a lot of South uh, Solomon camp. If you guys can still remember, uh, our first uh, solo motor camp was in Sampitan Beach Resort in Kagzi Mauban Quezon. All right, and then it was seconded by Camp Lourdes in Indang Cavite. That's uh, raw camping. It was good. I had fun there. And then the third one was in Cavinti Laguna. Uh, the name of the place is uh, Chandava Lake Resort. That's a huge place. Nice uh, accommodations. If you're not gonna, if you're not gonna be tent, if you're not gonna be pitching a tent, they have accommodations there. And I think the next one is in Batangas. All right. Uh, I can't remember exactly remember which part uh, in Batangas but the name of the place is Kaisip uh, Butyong Beach House that's a nice place it's got white sand and the fees are pretty affordable and I like that the restrooms are clean alright they don't have a bidet that's fine but they have clean running water uh, it's nice you got to check it out all right and then uh, the next one is in Tanay Rizal the name of the place is uh, River Ranch it's a huge open space it's one of those places that I would like to return I would consider going back uh, actually I plan to go back there and also in Kaisip uh, Butyong all right i'm not making any promises but chances are i might go back there just because 
and it's a nice place they got uh, good facilities uh, and the river there is uh, swimmable if you know what I mean all right and then followed by the last one for the year 2023 I tried to go to the north <laughs> I went to Morong Bataan and the place I went there uh, is called hold on let me catch my memory Morong Bataan oh my goodness hold on in Morong Bataan it was a uh, blue turtle cove all right it's a nice place it's got uh, sort of a white sand going on uh, pretty nature they don't have a bidet as well if you'd be asking about the comfort rooms but uh, it's okay I mean it's fairly affordable and you would enjoy enjoy staying there because there's a lot of trees and they have uh, picnic tables and stuff like that all right so we're still stuck uh, underneath our tarp uh, probably a little later if the uh, rain uh, goes out then uh, we'll try to do a, a walk along the uh, site so I can tour you and show you what we have in here I'll talk to you guys in a bit all right all right so it has finally stopped raining we're showing a little bit of sunlight yeah. all right the skies are still a little bit gray but uh, we're gonna go ahead and proceed with our camp tour so you would know what it's like to be here you would know what facilities they have or what the campsite has to offer now again my uh, spot is right over there as usual you can see that uh, Maxine is uh, parked uh, right uh, beside my tent all right my tarp is still kind of wet we're waiting for that one to dry out this is a nice place it's got a lot of trees and you can see that there are Kubo uh, houses here for rent or uh, a hut a typical Filipino traditional uh, dwelling place a house so this is one of their Kubos it says big Kubo number one we'll try to check if we can go inside all right let's see here so right outside you can see that the uh, area right here is paved right it's cemented and then the house itself is made of bamboo all right let's see if we can open this thing here okay so here we go we're inside all right so we can see that there are electrical outlets over here and there are switches as well there are shelves built-in shelves over here all right we, we don't want to mess with this one but uh, obviously they're working there's a main breaker I don't know where it is they have a little sink over here there's no faucet though let's see what's under here there's a cabinet all right and this would be the bed it's a double decker there I think that bed over here is good for one person and over here could fit two or three I guess depending on the size oh we have a mirror right here I love they're good looking and they have a fan and I guess this is a cabin or what oh it's not uh, that's a portion of this all right and they also have a nice lamp over here very good light over there all right and they have windows for uh, air passage on both ends and over there at the top all right so let's get out of here and there are seats over here and they even have this uh, evacuation uh, plan emergency evacuation plan so moving along let's see what we have right here all right so outside you will see a couple of uh, benches and uh, make the tables next to a tree here's one over here there's one over there and then there's this uh, usual uh, uh, area where you can probably do uh, pictures you know Instagram pictures or maybe you can also pitch your tent over here we'll try to go up okay it's a nice place it's made in bamboo all right pretty solid construction over here okay and over there 
we can see the mountain area of the beautiful DRT. This is the mountain areas of DRT or Doña Remedios Trinidad. Alright. We have some goats going on around there, minding their own business. Alright. Now let's continue. Okay. There's another one over there, and there's another one over there. And there's a cow. <laughs> Want some corned beef for a hamburger? <laughs> yes! I guess so, but not from that cow. Okay, so, and you will also notice that they have lights all over the place. I don't know if you guys can see that. They have lights, and they also have solar lights, which means it automatically uh, turns on when the time is right. All right, papaya tree over here. There's another good spot. Very nice. Maybe we can take a picture over here. All right. So, let me put this on hold and I'll take a quick picture myself. <laughs> Hello, cow. Woo! I can smell cow poop. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and try to climb this uh, area right here. It's pretty big and tall. Uh, not only it's got uh, bamboo pillars, it all, it's also got, uh, you know, concrete pillars to support it. Let's see if it's safe. Let's try to climb up. And here we have it. Okay, this is like a, their uh, view, view deck, I'd say. Alright. Or maybe you can also camp right here. And here we go. Woo! Oh my goodness, the view. It is nice. Wow. Can you guys see? Nice. Hold on, all right. Let me try to uh, zoom. Give me a moment. I'm fixing the, let me fix the zoom. There we go. All right, nice. See that? There are cows minding their own. There's three of them. And there's a house over there. I think I see two houses. And there's a guy walking by. You see that? There's also another house over there. And over there. Wait, somewhere there. <laughs> and there's a house over there. Wow. Beautiful, beautiful, just beautiful, right? This is my first time to be here in uh, Doña Remedios Trinidad, and I am sure gonna go back here sometime soon, all right? So let's go back, see you here. Okay, so what else do we have here? And over here, there's a spot where you can also relax and sit. All right. Ooh, that air is pretty cool. Okay, there are benches right here. All right. Nice place. All right, can you guys see? There we go. There we go. Very beautiful, right? Very beautiful. You know what? Let me take a picture of myself. Okay, so we're back. We're now, now approaching the huts. Okay, there are several huts over here. If I'm counting them correct, right here there's one, two, three, and four. And there's this uh, place right here. I don't know what's it for. Maybe for a gather. Oh, it's a swimming pool. It's a porta pool, but uh, right now it's empty. Okay, so no can do. Let's, uh, but uh, let's try to go ahead and see what we have inside this uh, hut. There are breaker switches over there. Okay. So this is where you uh, walk from the main uh, entrance going going here. That's the path, and then you're gonna get here. 
So here's a hut. It says number one, if you guys can see. I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to go inside. I hope we can. Let's check if it's open. It is open. Hello. There we go. Take a quick look. There's a rug. Swipe our feet. Let's see if there's lights. There's lights. It is working. All right, turn it off. Turn it back on. So there's a seat and there are pillows. All right. And there's a fan and there are uh, electrical outlets for you to charge your devices. All right. And there are switches. There's two switches. Most likely switch for the light inside and the one here outside, I guess. All right, so let's go back out. So that's one of the uh, TP huts. Here we go. Here's what it says. <laughs> Put down your phone, talk to each other. I totally agree. Now over here, we will find some uh, picnic tables. All right, we have some picnic tables over here. All right. It's actually made of concrete, made to look like uh, pieces of wood or lumber, which is nice. It's a good touch. It says over here on this one, it says, leave, not, and leave nothing but footprints, take nothing but pictures, kill nothing but time. I like that, right? Let's take a picture of it real quick. There we go. And you know what? I think this one right here, there's also supposed to be a swimming pool. All right, I guess, because I think that's a uh, part of the pool. They have a table over here. This place is uh, made of concrete, so it's flapped. All right, oh, and here we go. It says here, there's a swimming pool thingy thingamajingy instruction. All right, so what else do we have? And I think I saw a faucet over here. It's uh, worth uh, mentioning that, that there's faucet with running water. Very good, you can wash your face, wash your feet. Probably even take a bath there if you want to. And there's another sign right here. <laughs> I love reading signs. This one here, look at the sun. Oh, look at the sky, enjoy the sun or the moon. Be amazed by the stars. That's right. So I think this is the last of the uh, Kubo for couples. So there are four. So again, that's one, two, three, and four. The first one is the one that we entered. All right. So there's a path over here leading to more huts for Kubos. It says overlooking Kubo 1. Okay, uh, let's try to get in and see what's inside. See there, it says overlooking Kubo 1. Let's see if it's open. Okay, oh, it's a pretty big Kubo. All right, the usual. It's double deck. Let's see where the lights are. Here are the lights. Flip the switch. The lights is working. There you go. All right, it's again double deck. This one could probably fit uh, more than two, and that one probably two, I'm not sure. Again, depending on the size. Looks like they even have uh, outlets over here. Let's see if it works. Yay, and there's a Christmas light thingy. All right, there we go. So let's turn them off. And they have a, a desk fan and a, and a chair and a mattress. So that's what you're gonna get for the uh, overlooking Kubo. Oh, this is so close, anyway. And then, oh, nice, there's a swing. Can you guys see that? There's a swing over here. So let me go ahead and try to swing myself. Let's see if it can carry my weight, as usual. Fix the tripod real quick. There we go. Okay.
let me give you a, a POV. <laughs> so we're gonna sit on this uh, swing, all right? And then there's your view. Then we're gonna swing. See, that's what you're gonna see while you're uh, sitting on the swing. All right? Okay, so they have three overlooking Kubo. That's the first one, we went into that one. We already tried the swing, I actually took pictures, that's why I paused the uh, video. <laughs> and this is Kubo number two. We're not gonna get in there. We already checked the one over there, and there's overlooking Kubo number three. Now I happen to notice something over right here. We're gonna go ahead and check it out. There we go. More platforms. Looks like uh, they're under uh, maintenance or something. Can you guys see that? There are platforms. They're working on it. They chopped some wood, some trees over here. I can see that because they're using it for that purpose, right? And then if you'll see the trail over here, that green, uh, the uh, trail that has green uh, rocks or rocks painted green, that's actually a path for you to go to the uh, common uh, bathroom all right so we're gonna go ahead and check it out so you have an idea how it's like I, I actually already used this uh, yesterday all right so they have a sink over here all right they got three uh, faucet three sinks so this one is working of course they're all working all right and then there's a light that one works there we go. There's another light right here. It works. And this is what the bathroom looks like. Watch your step, I just. <laughs> so here, uh, where's the switch? The switch, there we go. Light is working. They have a toilet, let's turn on the light. So that's your toilet, common toilet. Then they have a faucet with a huge uh, reservoir for water. Dipper, right? Nothing fancy. All right, the only thing I've noticed here, similar to one of the uh, campsites I've been to, or a uh, site I've been to, is that they don't have hooks for their clothes or towel. They have a chair. Someone left their soap. And there's a trash, trash can over there. So there's three of them, all right? We're not gonna check the others. This one I've been curious because it's been closed and locked. Uh, I'm not sure there's anyone in there. Look what we have right here. Can you guys see that? Minding their own business. Hello, amps. All right. So uh, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put a sticker real quick. All right. I hope they don't mind. We're gonna put a sticker real quick. There's our sticker over here. Let's see, can you guys see? sticker right there uh, we're gonna put it on this one right here the one in the middle how's that we're gonna put it right here we're gonna do that by closing this oh it doesn't close oh it's broken anyway let's put it on the first one instead <laughs> there we go to you there we go all right so again guys uh, real quick if you're gonna go ahead and search for my channel my channel's name is today view but if you search for today's view it's gonna take you a lot of time so to make life easier just type the word solo moto camp one word no spaces all right solo moto camp s-o-l-o-m-o-t-o-c-a-m-p you guys can spell you guys can read just type that in and then uh, for sure you're gonna find the video of uh, my videos all right then you can go ahead and uh, hit that uh, like button subscribe and share and always uh, hit the uh, notification bell that way you'll be uh, informed if you have any new contents of mine so 
so let's proceed in walking let me cut here for a while okay so uh, we came from there from the common uh, bathroom and we're now here we're gonna check out this uh, kubo this hut right here we're not sure if it's open or what it says Buku, big kubo number two can you guys see that the outside is uh, paved cemented let's see if we can get in okay we can so right here uh, let's see if the lights are working I think the breakers okay the lights are working very good and they have a lampshade two lampshades actually they have shelves for you to put your stuff they have a sink they even have a mirror hello there good looking again I'm using my phone that fell several times they have uh, benches right here or chairs or whatever you want to call it and they have a table over there all right and I think over here is the room let's see if it's open okay it is it's uh, kind of stuck there we go so that's how it looks like they got mattresses all right let's see if the lights turn on there we go so the lights are working they have a window two windows one at the top one at the bottom all right that right there can probably fit one person or maybe two depending on the size and then over here all right there's a stair i like that uh, bamboo stair and they have they have a fan i don't know how much of the uh, this one's cost but we're gonna find out later go ahead and close that make sure everything's turned off all right we're good moving on and again there's a huge table out here so that way you can eat out if you want to all right they have some bamboo trees going on around here there are people coming the, there have been people here uh, since yesterday. I think they have a seminar of some sort. I'm not sure what it is. And there are new uh, visitors coming over. So this is a uh, big kubo three, then big kubo four. Okay, that makes sense because the first one is the one that we had over there. All right, big kubo one. Remember over there near my near my uh, spot. So this is big kubo two, big kubo three, and big kubo four. And I like that they have this huge solar panel with solar light again they uh, turn on when the right time is when it's the right time over there they got lights going on over so we're not gonna go ahead and uh, get in there anymore oh check out this plant i wonder what it is All right you see that pretty neat so that's big kubo four how many big kubos do they have anyway and here's another one right here this one looks uh, pretty new uh there's no number on it looks pretty new compared to the, those uh, those ones they have bamboo trees all over here see those bamboo trees so let's try to get in here see what they have to offer okay yeah this is uh, obviously new I can see that there are no electricals yet yeah there are no electricals yet there are no lights it hasn't been set up yet they're gonna most likely this is new they're gonna set it up all right okay let's get out of here and we have this uh, picnic chairs and tables again these are like a uh, <laughs> uh, concrete uh, try to dip, uh, replicate uh, wood and there are huts over there we'll go to, we're gonna go ahead and check it out more picnic tables over here and over here uh, for pictures and, sh and stuff all right like that it says RFM so I'm gonna go ahead and take a quick picture of myself. I'll talk to you guys later. So we just had a short conversation with the locals over here. I think uh, they're from the uh, municipality, uh, local government of uh, Bulacan. So here are other uh, kubos, all right? This one is actually pretty straightforward. You get in and that's it. You have the room itself, no divisions. And other kubos over here. I think there are visitors. All right. Supposedly that's where you're supposed to camp. I mean to park your vehicle. But uh, I parked my motorcycle over there, Maxine. All right. So this is the main entrance. All right. So this one here, they have rocks. All right. So there. Registration area. Welcome to RFM campsite. All right. The moment you step in you're gonna find the campsite is beautiful all right it's lush in nature all right so, all right so we're back I <laughs> just finished taking a lot of pictures they also have a bonfire area right here all right they have one two and three 
All right, they got trees all over. There's the bonfire area, and that's remember we uh, I was there a while ago. So imagine that's a long walk from there to this path going here. And those are the uh, big kubos over there. All right, so this time we're gonna go ahead and check what we have over here. There's another uh, nice uh, area right here for picture taking. All right, let me try to go up. Okay, I'm gonna go up. There we go. Wait for me, I'm going up. All right, so that was a nice spot. Now moving along, we have another Kubo over here. See, they have a lot, uh, lots of uh, solar lights over here. Solar panels with solar lights. Here's another Kubo. All right, uh, let's try to go in and see what we have. Here we go. All right, someone even left eggs. So the lights are working. All right. No, they don't have a sink here yet. I think it's the usual setup. Oh, that kind of scared me. Here we go. Wait. Where is the... Uh... Oh, this one has a private room. Here we go. So this one has a private room. There's the lights. So if you'll notice, this is a private room. And then over there, there's another bed. All right, so they have a fan, they have windows, and there's a mattress, all right. And then you have a stair over here going up. Is there a light here somewhere? There we go. Here's the switch, all right. Window, window, electrical outlets for you to charge your devices. It's a nice spot. All right, you can put your stuff over there. Close. Oh, that's why they have this. Close this thing right here. Close. There we go. Okay, going out. Go. Okay, so I guess that's about it. That's the entire uh, campsite for RFM. All right. There's the store. Uh, we won't be able to go there because there are people there. They're having a seminar of some sort. But uh, pretty uh, much thing. They sell, you know, usual stuff. They have food. Uh, you know, <laughs> usual stuff. And they can cook food for you. All right. <sighs> okay, so uh, returning back to my spot. Again, this has been such a quite a. Uh, an experience for me for 2024, my first uh, solo motor camping trip. All right, what else can I say? Well, again, you guys, thank you so much for watching my videos from start to finish. Please support my channel by hitting like, share, and subscribe. And if it's not too much to ask, please uh, hit that uh, notification bell. That way you'll be notified uh, should I have any uh, new uh, contents or uploads or whatever, all right? Uh, if I'm not mistaken, we, uh, we are almost uh, 800 subscribers. I was hoping we could uh, hit uh, 1,000, but that's okay. Uh, baby steps, I, I suppose. Uh, again, you guys, thank you so much uh, for supporting my channel and uh, for uh, watching it from start to finish. Again, Happy New Year, guys. Stay safe and uh, be happy always. Drive safe. Bye for now. Peace.